The equipment that you see in these cases here, we don't collect brassware or artefacts for the sake of collecting brassware. We, tr we, we collect it, but we try to build up a story about the artefact, uh, its history of use. And this is where this museum is um, pretty well equipped because not only do we have these instruments, this is an early calculator. This, this gadget here you see adds, subtracts, multiplies and divides. So it's the modern, it's the old version of your present day electronic computer. It's a mechanical calculator. Uh, and we actually have the field model, which is the small ones you see behind here, and the large uh, office model, too big to take out in the field, small enough to take in the field. Now, the artefacts that we've collected over the years, people have used, and we actually have photos of the people using these instruments you see here in that position in Charters Towers. That's the surveyor, that's the observatory, and that's the other surveyor that used these uh, artefacts. So. It, it, it ties, our photographic collection ties together with our artefact collection. Basically we have an artefact collection, thousands of artefacts. We have a photographic collection, 9,000 photographs since 1866, 9,000, not 900. We have a biographical and subject file collection in the museum. So surveyor blogs or cartographer Jones, we have a file on him. A, library like you couldn't jump over. We have thousands of volumes of texts that deal with old surveying texts. We have books that go back to 1680 that relate to how to do a survey. You get that 1680 textbook and you get my textbook from the 1950s and there's very little difference. The little difference happened after the 1950s. Everything went with satellites and everything just tore off. But till the 1950s I wasn't doing much different to what they were doing in the 1600s. Slight variation, but not much at all. So that's the benefit of having this all in the one museum is it, it, it's self-explanatory. You don't have to worry. Uh, you go to other places in the world and they have an artifact collection and a library somewhere else and a photographic collection in another, another place in the world. This is all relating to Queensland in the one spot. So that's what makes this collection uh, worth saving. The, the, the gadgets you see here You'll find this in America, you'll find that in England. It's not that they're unique, it's they're unique because they're tied to Queensland with these people using them and that's the people that actually use them there.